assist, picks the win up by itself. That slide in here, gas tank, the 24 gallon gas tank, is right behind the rod locker. What's up? I'm George Little with Ranger Boat Company, and we have our 1780, our brand new deep V aluminum here at Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. I'm gonna do a very quick walkthrough uh, on the boat, but a couple of key features you need to, to understand or, or to know about the product. It's all welded for one. There's no wood in it for two. And we do actually use a lot of the fiberglass uh, parts in this boat that we do in the, in the uh, other Ranger boats. So we'll start right here, Mike. We have a large storage box. As you can see, you put lots of lots of things that you're going to need for your day. Your your, your PFDs there. Uh, we are going through the extra lengths to put the weather stripping around all the lockable compartments. So we're doing everything we can to uh, to try to make these boxes dry. Up here, this is a kind of a fun deal. We put a cooler in your cooler. So. It comes with, uh, every boat comes with a cooler, but if you wanted to take it out, this box is configured to put 3,700 tackle trays in, which everybody has. But part of the construction, the, the way that we fill the boat with foam, helps this in the fact that it is completely insulated from the foam and it really does help keep things cold. Now here in the front, we have our aerated bait well, and this is fiberglass box. And just to once again show the foam uh, in the boat, I can stand in that box an eighth of an inch thick and uh, it doesn't even move. Ah, right, here's a rod locker. This, this is, uh, it really sets us apart. You can see the lid assist, it picks the lid up by itself. Eight and a half foot, seven and a half foot Dobbins rod, just easily goes in there no problem and then close it lockable got the rubber seal around it it's a great deal okay in order to uh, keep the balance in the boat uh, to make the maximum fishability we put a lot of the weight on the center line the battery storage is right here underneath the rod locker so you don't have to be uh, in the back of the boat to uh, find a battery moving a gas tank or anything like that. The gas tank, the 24 gallon gas tank, is right behind the rod locker, once again, in the center of the boat, making it uh, the, the best fishability we possibly can. And if you ever had to service it, you can really get right at it. Fiberglass console, another portion of the boat that we were able to bring over from what we know about building, building the legendary Ranger. You can put up to a seven inch unit here, flush mount, or we have another, if you wanted to get larger than that, we do have a plate that fills this and you can put even a bigger unit than a seven, but it'll take the floor. You can see this uh, multicolor floor we have in here. That's actually a polyurea uh, covering. It's a textured surface, so when you walk on it, but it makes it very easy for cleaning. Simply rinse the boat out, Big drains here in the back, and and clean uh, uh, you know anything in when you're out multi-species fishing, you maybe using live bait, whatever. You can easily rinse it, and it'll drain out the back of the boat. There's also snap-in carpet available for the boat, so if you do want carpet, that's an option that we can we can bring. The Ranger seats, Ranger upholstery, uh, the same seats, same quality as we use in the fiberglass. We bring that over. Same wiring system in the boat. We bring that over from what we already know. So time and time again, we keep uh, integrating the other product. The trailer is also a Ranger Trail trailer. On the port side, we have another seven foot box here that you can do whatever you want with. If you want to put you know, shorter rods in here, you can, or it, it's uh, a great spot for more tackle. On the starboard side, another storage box. See, I've got my 3700s in here. That will hold six or eight 3700s. You know, no space that's not being used. We're showing the uh, the jump seat option here in this boat. Very, very popular option. Uh, you can see it gets lots of room if you were to use this. Uh, the boat comes standard with pedestal bases in the floor. Uh, if you're not using this, you would put your extra seats there. This, however, holds down 
it makes a great casting platform. So true multi-species boat uh, with, the, with the rod locker, with the, being able to use this as a casting deck. Once you pick the casting deck up, you've got your, your live well, more than adequate size to hold whatever. Any, we have a 115 Everroot on here, but you can put any manufacturer that you want on your Ranger boat. One, I want to, don't want to miss this, but the extrusion of the boat here on the side, we have built tools that slide in here, and uh, this the sample here is the rod holder, but there are several other tools, accessories that will fit in. Right Up here in the front of the boat, every DB and every tournament series Ranger aluminum boat comes with your choice of Minn Kota trolling motor. Really proud of that partnership, and uh, we're continuing that with the Deep V series. So if you like what you've seen here, if you want to see any more about the Aluminum Ranger Boats and the whole lineup, go to rangerboats.com, go to the Aluminum Boats page, and you'll find out exactly what you need to know. See the lid assist, fix the lid up by itself. Gas tank, the 24 gallon gas tank is right behind a rod locker.